What is up guys? Thursday. We're doing it. Big things out here. Uh, this is going to be mostly an update on the earnings. Uh, but one of the first things I'm going to talk about is one of the one of the revolutionaries. Not really. The top earner in our market. Uh, he started his, he started his own channel today. Uh, I would go ahead and do the link with the tablet, but as you can see, I'm driving home right now. It's been a long day. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, I'm gonna leave, uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for his video. That's Manny. Uh, that dude, man, he's out here killing it every day. He makes me look like a bum. Me. And I make the rest of the market look like like bums. So, oh yeah, speaking of bums, <laughs> I uh, I took a trip request today at 4:40. Ended up being like an hour long trip to O'Hare. Uh, and I couldn't help but notice something. Right, I got to O'Hare, and the queue at O'Hare was 145 drivers at 5:50. You guys seriously got to get it together. You have nothing better to do than to wait at O'Hare. Get out there and drive. If you wait at, if you're one of these people that's always waiting at the lot, you completely just, you lack motivation. You're probably one of the same people on uberpeople.net talking about, how come I can't make any money? Because you're at the lot four hours a day. That's why you're not making no money. I mean, part of me is actually kind of thankful there's so many bums in this market. Because while 147 cars are in the lot, 145 are in the lot at O'Hare, that means there's more demand elsewhere. Like, I want to know the mentality. I really do. It just, do not wait at the lot. Waste of time. Period. There's no, there's no discussion on that one none and you're waiting you're, you're at the lot during rush hour so it's like are you that motivated by a $23 fare stuck in traffic to maybe go to the city come on guys um okay I think that's that's that for uh that's your daily rant for me uh I'm actually feeling I'm actually feeling pretty alert, which is odd. I haven't. <laughs> this might be a little sad to admit. Uh, I usually take a nap every day in my car or something. I have not had a nap all week. I've been sleeping five and a half, six hours a night because um, I've been in the city at 401, you know, turning the app on at 403, 405, 407 being consistent you know I'm, I'm 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 staying out here but i'm realizing now that waking up early on a thursday might be a little pointless um this morning i didn't get a trip request for 40 minutes and i was on the app uh so i think i might start i might start at five o'clock on thursdays instead of 4 a.m like every other day and um Earnings wise, I am at 11, right around 1140. So <sighs> tomorrow has to be a massive day. Like I've got a completely, this idiot doesn't know how to drive. Wow. Oh wow, almost got into an accident. God, there's some real geniuses in the city. That was another Uber driver. Uh, I'm on Randolph right now, so you know who you are. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm at 1140 now. So I'm 860 to go with a $40 quest from Uber. So let's just say I make $25 in promo money this weekend, like the $3 incentives from Uber during the rush hours and 
the $40 quest. So that means I've got to earn $800 in the next three days. It's going to be tough. I might have to put those hours in on Sunday. Uh, but let's 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 hope for luck. I mean, that's that's all I, that's all I can really do. Because actually, the weird thing is, I actually have plans for tomorrow night, which is fine because Friday night, Friday nights have been slow lately. So um, I'm not really regretting that too much. Because uh, I bought the tickets for the show last week, so I, my favorite my favorite comic is coming to town, so I have to I have to go see him. I never miss a, I never miss a show when he's in town. Um, so I'm really excited about that, but and I'm, I might get my drink out a little bit tomorrow. I feel like, I feel like I've earned a few uh, a few dozen whiskeys after after the week I've had. Um, so so that means Saturday morning because I have to comply with Chicago laws. Uh, if I'm gonna do all 10 hours on Saturday, then I might try to start in like the rich neighborhoods uh, Saturday morning and just leave Premiere on for like three hours and hope for luck, you know? That's really the only, that's the only chance I have. I need, I need to get like four Premiere trips to stand a chance at making this two thousand dollars yeah I, I need I need like because right now I'm I have two hundred and thirty dollars from Lyft I need like another hundred sixty from Lyft to uh, to lock this up so I, I need luck guys I, I really I need I really need uh, I really need need all of my revolutionaries behind me on this one <laughs> I need the encouragement because you guys it's gonna be hard I'm gonna be dragging myself over that finish line on Sunday because you guys know how much I hate driving on Sundays so um, it's gonna be tough man but let's we got it we got to do it I'm doing it for myself I'm doing it for the channel I'm doing it for all you guys Still going strong. Um, oh yeah, last thing. Uh, one of my last passengers, uh, the one I picked up from O'Hare, it's at 550 something. Uh, she was a nice Indian lady. Frequent flyer. She told me that the worst experience she ever had from an Uber, uh, she was talking to the driver and he was Pakistani. And if you guys are unaware, there's like always, there's been a very, there's been a conflict between uh, Pakistan and India for a very long time and she said that this guy went on a fucking racist rant against her and said that like her whole culture was garbage and she was garbage and how much how much he hates her country and all of her people <coughs> and the reason I'm telling you this story that she told me was is uh, she told me that she reported him to Uber and do you know what happened when she reported him to Uber? She got a $5 credit on a future ride. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that is some real bum shit on Uber's part. That a driver can harass a passenger and her, her consolation prize was $5. You know, or her consolation or whatever, yeah. They gotta quit automating that stuff. They really do, they need human beings on these computers monitoring these complaints. Cause stuff like that should not happen. Like, I don't stand for racism. Like, you know. Especially, I mean, I, I just, there's no, there's no place for that these days. Uh, so that's uh, that's all I got, guys. Again, thank you guys for watching. Wish me luck. This is going to be a long weekend. Um, but we got to go after it. So like always, like, comment, share, and subscribe to join the Ride Your Revolution. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Stay safe out there. Bye.